Hi, I wanted to go over some of the basics with drawing pencils today. And to begin with, all I have is just a line and you should be able to tell that there's a sun and I have a moon over here for what's light and dark. In the center here, I have an HB. So let's take a look at all of my pencils first. So these are all of my pencils that I kind of just have out for example. And to be, I'm gonna scoot these over here. To begin with, I have a regular pencil. So if you take a look at a regular pencil, it will generally have some numbers and some letters on it, and let's talk about what those mean. To begin with, you'll see a number two on here. Number two is the same as also an HB pencil. So if you've ever taken like a um, standardized test, they always tell you to take a number two pencil. It's also the exact same as an HB. And where I would put that on my uh, shading pencil line is right here in the center so that's the center of everything um, sometimes what i like to liken my line here to is kind of like a number line so instead of numbers i have an hb which is the center which would also be like our zero um, and then we're going to add some for darkness and we're also going to take away some from our zero to make it lighter and lighter. So this would be like my negative numbers and this would be like my positive numbers if you were thinking of uh, numbers in the way of like a pencil shading. All right, the next one that I have here is let's go over to the lighter side. I have one that is in 2H. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark on here that I have a 2H. And just from writing on there, I can tell that it's getting lighter already. So I have a 2H here. Next what I have is a 7H. So I'm gonna jump like way down here on the number line. So I'll leave a little bit of a gap there so you can kind of see that this is a 7H. That's so light, I'm not even sure that the camera is reading that very well, but that's what that one is. And I have some other pencils here. I have a 2B. This one would be over on the positive number line sign or side, 2B. So it's getting a little darker. And I have a 4B, so I'm gonna take this and put it right about here. All right, so these are some examples of um, my pencils and kind of where they belong. Now you might be wondering, okay, so where does a mechanical pencil belong in my shading packet? Well, here's where I believe mechanical pencil um, belongs. It does not go well on shading. So a mechanical pencil is technically the same as an HB pencil, but the lead with it being so small, a lot of times instead of blending out your, or blending, um, it looks really, really streaky. So I would not recommend a mechanical pencil except for your beginning lines. If you really, really like a mechanical pencil, it's great for really sharp, clear, crisp lines. Same way it is good for your writing, but not really for shading. So we're gonna set that one aside. All right, now that I have these kind of all lined up, I like to keep these off to the side of my shading so that I can kind of keep them in order and be able to pick them up and remind myself of where to put them. All right, some other general questions. I'm gonna go back to using a regular pencil today. Some other general questions is how should I hold a pencil? Well, that's really kind of a personal question. It's not going to be a everybody in the same way, but how I hold a pencil is this is how I like to write with a pencil. So it's pretty much at a um, pretty upright, maybe a 45 degree angle. Um, some students I see go all the way down to shade like this. I like it somewhere in between those two. So not quite as high up as I would with writing but a little bit further down maybe at a lower angle somewhere in between these two so the reason why i like that is this up here is going to give you a nice sharp crisp line like you'd want to when it, if you were writing this way down here is going to get really really blurry lines which can be good for blending but at the same time i find that i go outside of my lines quite a bit um, i don't seem to be able to shade inside of lines so just a general general shading. All right, so today what you're going to do is you're going to do your value scale. So with your value scale, you're gonna give all of these a try. Something else that you're going to need to do after you have um, figured out what pencils you have in your pack, which all the packs are not created the same, then what you're going to do is go ahead and shade those in to the corresponding spot. Um, also what I'd like you to do is down here underneath, I'd like you to shade some, maybe some upside down 
tornadoes here. They don't have to be super, super neat, but what I'd like you to do is to test out range. So up here, you're just doing the same color all the way across for each one of your pencils. But what I'd like you to do down at the bottom underneath each one is show a range. So what is the lightest you can make that pencil go all the way to the absolute darkest? And you can really tell the difference over here with my 7H. It is super, super light and then it stays pretty light. Now you might be wondering, well, why should I use all of these different pencils? Well, that's a good question. These different pencils will do different things for you. You can obviously get some of the pencils a lot darker. So um, if you were trying to shade something and represent black, you might wanna choose something that would be a 4B. If you're shading something that's supposed to look very, very light, very airy, you're gonna to wanna to choose a lighter pencil. Another helpful trick is we tried out some shading uh, before and with our shading, you need to ask yourself, when you were shading, did everything you do turn out too dark? Did it look way, way darker than what you thought it should? And you might wanna pick lighter pencils. Now, on the other hand, some people, everything you do is super, super dark. Um, so you wanna choose lighter pencils. But if you're one of those people where everything you do is super, super light, you have trouble getting that darkness in there, then try using some darker pencils to really encourage yourself to go darker and get some of those deeper tones. All right, I hope you're enjoying using your different pencils today, and let's go ahead and fill out the worksheet and give shading a try today.